Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at pieces from Christian Englom. What is it? Uh, it's a card triumph, card triumph effect. Uh, but with this effect, what Christian has done is he's made a very clean, very almost moveless looking uh, routine and he allows it to be handed out and examined when the trick is done. You want to see what it looks like? This is it. Patrick, yes. I'd like for you to just take one card from the spread, please. Okay. And show it to the camera. Now, you could have chosen any one of these cards, but you chose this one. Mm -hmm. Look, remember it. Okay. We're going to leave it here. I'll shuffle the two halves face up into face down. Face up into face down. Very meticulously. Square. Now we have cards here that are face up, cards that are face down, and your card was placed somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Correct? Now I'm not sure whether your card is face down or face up. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look, if we turn the deck over, maybe it's here. Let's spread it really well. So you can see. I'm, I'm not sure if this is your card or if it's this one or whatever. Yeah. But uh, please follow, look carefully. All I do is I square the deck mm -hmm. gently. And now all of the cards that are face up turn face down, all except for the two twos, the card you chose <laughs> and its mate. Incredibly. <laughs> All right, so that was Christian Englom. Uh, you might remember he also did The Cooler. He's also on the Fat Brothers uh, DVD series. This piece is, this is one of his signature tricks. This is an effect he does all the time. This is his card triumph. And actually, he devised this because Juan Tamari came up with a, a challenge for him in that uh, you could have the cards uh, shown in a spread to be completely and thoroughly mixed. You then gather the spread back up again and then, without any funny movements or without turning the deck over, you're able to second spread and the, all the cards have been righted except for the single uh, spectator selected card. All right, so a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews and the first of which is, what is in the box? What's in the box? Well, it's not really a box, it's a little cardboard sleeve and it appears to be DVD shaped. Uh, it's the exact same size uh, a DVD should be, however, there is no DVD inside of it. You will be unpleasantly surprised. You will unfold this find no DVD. Uh, inside this, though, are the card gaffs that you will need. Um, the packaging says that it's a, a gimmick, and a gimmick makes it sound like it's one thing, but it's really several card gaffs. So, very similar to other Triumph effects that use card gaffs, Pieces is in that same genre. The video portion itself is a 47-minute video download. Is it what I thought? No way. In fact, when I opened this, I had actually forgotten what type of trick it was. And then when I saw the gaffs, I immediately thought it was some other style of trick. But then remembered, oh no, yeah, it's a, it's a triumph. And then so seeing the gaffs and thinking it's a triumph, I was lost because I was like, I have never, never seen a gaff like this in my entire life. Uh, it's crazy looking. So glad it's included. So glad I don't have to make it. Wow, what, what a nutty gaff card. How are the angles? The angles in this are very clean. Like I said, this was a challenge that Christian had to come up with to make this kind of moveless uh, triumph effect. So there are moves, yes, um, but the angles are very clean. Um, and I don't think anybody uh, is ever gonna spot some of these moves that you're doing because they're so unique to the triumph plot. Can it be inspectable? That's the whole um, point behind this effect is that yes, it's a gaffed uh, triumph effect, but it can be examinable. Um, there are some limitations with the examination process though, and we'll get to that in a minute. All right, so what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, the video is well shot. It's all studio done, uh, so it's mostly a single camera shot of just Christian and another guy, Robert, uh, and they're just sitting at a table and discussing the plot. And so the camera kind of just focuses on the two of them. Um, it does have some weird, random, royalty-free piano music that just pops up every now and then throughout the video, but you kind of tune that out after a while. 47 minutes, you get a lot of material. 
Christian definitely does go over all the ins and outs that you will need to know. Is it well made? You're gonna get red bicycle stock cards with this. And so yes, uh, Christian does say that you can use a borrowed deck. Probably would help if the borrowed deck was a red bicycle. <laughs> How much practice does it require? Uh, it does require some practice. I'm gonna say quite a bit. I'm gonna actually put this in the intermediate to advanced level of magic. So uh, if you're a beginner, I would say there's other um, easier triumph tricks to learn. Uh, and so I would say this is not really for you. There are some kind of, I won't say they're knacky, I won't say they're dirty. There's just some more advanced level um, card handling. It does require that you have a good feel over cards or are able to control cards, especially stacks of cards, very well. Um, so yeah, it will you take you some practice. How much setup and reset is there? It is a deck stack, okay? And you'll have to assemble this back into the deck stack. Uh, if you do the borrowed deck routine, it's gonna be ringing things in and ringing, ringing things out, basically. All right, so positives. What are the positives to pieces? Pieces erases all the moves and all the tells that a typical Triumph has. It looks super clean and it comes across exactly what the effect should look like. So everything a magician knows to look for, all those tells are gone. It's amazing. Negatives, what are the negatives to this? Hey, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. It's kind of implied when you're watching this that this is an effect that you have to do seated, okay? So kind of the nature of Triumphs anyway they're usually seated because you usually do spread the cards. This trick uh, demands that you spread the cards and demands that you use a surface that allows the cards to be spread well. So you'll have to be seated, more than likely you'll have to use a mat. And so that kind of eliminates a lot of people that don't perform that way. This kind of eliminates people that do walk around uh, or street magic, okay? This is, this is not your trick. This is a seated parlor magic style effect. And so negatives, it just kind of limits your performance venue. I think Christian performs this amazingly well. I think it's a signature trick, but like I said, um, it, it's just gonna be a little tougher for you and I to do it because you're almost gonna have to, you have to perform this like Christian does. It's gonna be hard for you to kind of adopt your own style to it. You're basically gonna be learning Christian's trick and performing it. Is it worth your money? It's 30 bucks. 30 bucks and no DVD <laughs> in a box that looks like it should have a DVD. I, for $30, I just would have appreciated a DVD instead of a download. I mean, there's, there's advantages to both, I get it, but for 30 bucks, I would have appreciated a DVD. Who would like this? People that want to do a super clean Triumph, people that want to fool magicians, people that love the Triumph effect and are looking for a new way to do it. All right, so that is Pieces from Christian Engblom, and we'd like to thank Murphy's Magic for providing this for us so that we could review it for you. And if you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, bye.